Hey there, and welcome to another Curtis Stage video tutorial. Today's tutorial is in Illustrator, and we're gonna be doing a logo design using the curvature tool, which is kind of like the pen tool. It's kind of a new and updated pen tool, or newish and updated pen tool. Okay, so I have Illustrator open, and you can see that I have a file that I brought in from my phone. I actually just took this on my phone, brought it into Illustrator, and it's on a layer right here. I'm not gonna do anything to this sketched image. I'm gonna actually draw over the top of it. So what I wanna do before I do that is add a new layer, right? And I can lock this layer below. So lock my drawing layer so I don't accidentally try to do anything on that layer. It won't let me draw on the photo itself. So that's not a problem. So now I wanna go on to layer two. So let's go to our toolbar and find the curvature tool. It should be right next to or below the pen tool. And it looks like this. There's no other options with the curvature tool. Now the trick with this, I'm gonna zoom in, Command plus zooms me in or Control plus on a Mac, or on a PC, sorry. Uh, Command plus on a Mac, Control plus on a PC, zooming in. Uh, if I just click and start drawing, it's gonna automatically give me curves like this. And that's cool, because it's a curvature tool, but that's not what I want, right? This is, I'm not gonna get anything here, what I want. So I'm gonna undo that a few times. What I wanna do is I wanna hold down Option or Alt and click that way. So I'm gonna start down here. I'm gonna hold down Option on my keyboard. The only issue, of course, is nothing visually changes on your mouse when you do this, so you can't really tell what's going on. But what it's doing is it's gonna draw straight lines instead of curves. So I'm gonna hold down Option or Alt, click one of my, make a first point, click a second point. So far, this is just like the pen tool, but you're gonna see a difference in a second. I'm gonna go over here, make my third point, and then I'm gonna finish this uh, path clicking that point. Now it made a curve right there, no big deal. Now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my hand off option now, and now I'm gonna push, I'm gonna pick a spot on this path line, and I'm gonna add, basically add an anchor point. When I do that and push up, look at how now I can get that curve there. Now down here, I want to actually click right here and dr drag this, and eh, maybe a little there. I wanna click somewhere in here, because now I'm gonna click here and push this in. I'm watching my line here, so maybe something like this, and I can adjust this more in a second. Now, I don't want this anymore here, so I'm gonna double click that anchor. Do you see how when I, let me undo this, when I double click this anchor point right there, do you see how it now straightens that? Awesome. Now I can go to my direct select tool and edit these anchor points even more if I need to. So I can kind of drag them into place, get it more fine tuned. I can use the handles. Notice how my path is red. My, my stroke is red by the way too. And I have no fill on this. We'll fill this in in a minute. Let's do another one of these. So I'm gonna click on my direct select tool uh, or I'm gonna click on my black arrow tool and just to kind of get off this one. When I click back on it, if I wanna fill this, I can. So I can fill this with black, right? There we go, pretty cool. I can take off the stroke. Nice. So there's that shape, shape number one. Okay, now let's make shape number two and I'm probably gonna make it a little better than my actual drawing. So let's make shape, shape number two. Now, again, I'm gonna go up here to the top, my, my control bar, my options bar. I'm gonna take off fill. I'm gonna add a stroke and I'm gonna make this stroke something bright that I can see, maybe magenta. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back to my curvature tool. Again, I have to be clicked off this one. I'm gonna start here at the bottom and click up. And if I don't hold option, this won't work. So I gotta hold option. I click over here. Don't worry about this curve yet. I'm going to click over here and then click down here. And I'm going to finish this, right? I want to finish that path. Okay. So let me do that again. So I'm going to make my first anchor point. I'll just go back all the way. Make my first anchor point. Hold down option. Click. Click. 
flick to where my third point would be, and then I want to finish this. Again, don't worry about those curves quite yet. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to click. It makes an anchor point. I'm going to push it up and into place. Nice. Now I'm going to go over here. Click. Makes an anchor point. I'm going to push it into place. Then I'm going to go over here. I don't want this to be a curve. I'm going to double click that. Really good. I can continue to move these around, you know, once I put them in there. And I can also add more anchors with the curvature tool, but I don't like to do that. I like to go to the direct select tool and add it because now I can get in here with the Bezier handles and edit this a little bit more, right? I can go in and edit these tools a little bit more. Okay, and, I, and get in here, and, right? This is the Bezier handle for that one. I can kind of just double check that. So. Sometimes you have to zoom in and kind of see what you've got going on here. All right, so something like that. Then I, again, I can go uh, click my black arrow tool, click off this, click back on it, and I can go to fill, and it'll allow me to see this better. So I want to click on this, go to fill, and I can get rid of the stroke if I want. I can leave it on there if I want to, get rid of the stroke. Again, I've got a red bounding box because I'm on a red layer. If I did this on uh, the blue layer, it would have a blue bounding box on it. Okay, that one looks pretty good. Again, if I want to fine tune it, I could, and I, by the way, you can go and add more anchor points and delete more anchor points with their pen tool, but I usually don't do that. I usually just can, if I've got a fairly simple shape, I can modify it pretty easily. But with my direct select tool, that's the tool, and you can nudge these with your arrows, I'm just clicking my arrows on my on my keyboard. I've got an anchor point there. This is not an anchor point. Let me zoom into this. Remember, this is a Bezier handle off that anchor point. So if I click this anchor point, I can fix that a little bit more even, and then that's the handle to get that curve just even more fine-tuned. If you click this Bez, uh, anchor point, this handle right here is right on both sides gives you that one and there's that there's that anchor point and you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge this all right nice so I've got that so I've got two paths on this layer I didn't make need to make another layer for these two shapes they are created inside layer two well let's make the final one so I'm going to click off any drawing that I have you want to click off that and then I'm going to click on my curvature tool. I want to not have a fill to start with. It's just easier and I'll have a little stroke on here. So I'm going to go and pick that at one point. It could be bigger, but that's kind of a little overkill. I'm just going to stick it, stick with one point. All right. Now what I'm going to do again is I'm going to click, make my first anchor point, hold down option or alt. This one's got a slight curve to it on my, according to my drawing. And then I'm going to go down here. I'm not worrying about any of those curves yet. Again, it's going to make that curve. I'm going to zoom into this. Okay, so now what I want to do is this one's going to have a slight curve. Just a slight curve there. This one's going to have a slight curve. So I'm going to bring that in. This one, I don't want a curve. I'm going to double click that. And I'm going to double click this. Look at that. Gives me my shape kind of better than I drew it. And I'm going to maybe move this one up so I don't need to go to my direct select tool my gray arrow tool to do this I can edit it right here and kind of get it more fine-tuned I'm gonna move this one down a little bit okay and something like that is is how my drawing worked now I'm gonna go back to my black arrow tool I, I've got this selected I can go here and fill it with black get rid of my stroke nice Okay, let me zoom out, Command minus or Control minus. Now I'm gonna turn off my eyeball on the background layer. Now I've got these shapes. Now I can, you know, now these are separate uh, shapes within layer, within layer two, and I can move them around. I say, yeah, my drawing was good, but I wanna fine tune this a little bit more. So now I've got this kind of the way I want it. Now, maybe this F's a little funky right here. I want these lines a little better, but. I kind of like the oddness of that a little bit. So you've got this. Now I can select all three of these by drag selecting. I'm with my black arrow tool here. 
my, my move tool, my selection tool, and I can make this bigger. I can hold down shift and keep that aspect ratio the same and just make this whole thing larger so I can see it even better. Okay, I can switch colors, do whatever I want. This line down here looks a little weird, so I probably kind of get in there and mess with that. So I'm gonna go back to my direct select tool and maybe move this anchor down this way again. Once I get rid of my my real drawing, my regular drawing that I had, I can kind of go in here and fine tune this a little bit more. I'm gonna move this one up and then move this anchor up and move that anchor up. So I'm kind of looking at, and I can get my grid line going here. So if I went to view, and then I go to show grid. I can kind of get my grids here going. So let me just see this even a little bit better. So I'm gonna, oops, I double click that. So I went into edit just that object. I'm gonna line this up maybe on my grid here. Just line these up, see what it kind of looks like. And I've got my smart guides on, so maybe this might help me. So now I can take this with my direct select tool and I like that angle, but I'm just using my keyboard to move this in a little bit. And maybe I like it like that and I'll change this zoom in, uh, move in here and I've got my grid. So I'm up here, I'm gonna get this grid line I'm gonna get precise on this. So maybe right there. And then maybe on this one, I'm one, one out and I'm making it two. so this this is every inch I've got a grid here you could you could see that I'm going to bring this up and then I want to make sure that it's one over okay that's cool so now I can get it perfect there and there's a little bit of curve to this a little bit of slight curve it's I guess that's okay now I'm going to take this one and with my direct select tool I can kind of start this curve see how I can get very precise here I mean, I'm zoomed, I could zoom way in, right? And then use my, my space bar to move me around. I can move way in. And now I've got this one and th that one right on that same one in. This, this line is a little tricky right here. Uh, it's, so I'm gonna move this one down. So I'm gonna go here, click on that anchor point and move this down and click on this anchor point and move that down. So I'm just kind of looking and seeing what that looks like. Pretty good. Okay. Let me zoom out and see what I got. So that's looking, it's looking nice. Okay, pretty good. Uh, I might move this up and I might even get the handle. I, I don't like that curve that's on there. Maybe it goes a little more straight, right? So I move that handle down and then I'll move this up just a little bit and maybe I don't want that and I want that a little more straight up there so they start off both straight see how you can with the grids and zoom and weigh in you can get really fine-tuned so now let me go back to this I'll move this down one move this down one and in one couple you know what maybe I'll be really precise and go right to that line right there right to this grid line I'll try to Kind of use those grids to my advantage. Okay, and then down here, I would do the same thing. So I'll bring this up, get it on that line, and then these things need to be kind of uh, lined up a little bit better. So again, I can get in here, get this one with my arrow keys. I'm just showing you how you can get more precise. This won't be perfect necessarily, but uh, you can use your anchor points and get more precise. Maybe I wanna bring this one way up and bring this anchor point flat so it doesn't have that same curve. Maybe I wanna, I really wanna mirror this line more so I can kinda of do that. And I'm gonna look at my spacing between objects here. So I want my that space right there to be the same as this space right here. So it, it, it could, it's about one block one and a half blocks, so I need to move my whole shape down a little bit to about there, maybe eh, a little bit more. Okay, so something, eh, maybe a little bit more. 
All right. And so now you're starting to get something there, bringing in your original drawing and then in Illustrator, fine tuning it. I can go a little further on that. As you can see, I can fine tune those even more, get that line down here, a little straight, a little, or, you know, or maybe curve it in a little bit more, but you kind of get the idea. So this curvature tool, tool really is such a great way to build shapes fast. All right, that's been another Curtis Day tutorial. I will see you guys soon.